The Hollywood Sound Impulse Response Collection is now updated with reverb impulse modulation capabilities. Convolution sound quality is superior to any algorithmic reverb. However, one limitation has been lack of modulation capabilities until now. The Hollywood IR collection can now smoothly modulate from early reflections to tail. A tail is similar in sound to a plate reverb. Smoothly modulate from dark to bright IRs. Smoothly modulate from small to large spaces. Small, medium, and large studio spaces were added for more ambience flexibility. Continuous tone motion added to the IRs. This adds a deeper 3D richness, especially to sampled based instruments. This video outlines some of the new updated features of the Hollywood Sound IR collection. This update does not change the reverb impulses, but rather adds extra DSP that significantly expands the range and the flexibility of these IRs. The banks and presets of the Convolution plugin Reverberate 2 by Liquid Sonics are what have been added to achieve this expansion of the IR's potential. It is strongly recommended that you get Reverberate 2 to take advantage of this upgrade. It really is the best Convolution plugin for its graphic user interface and DSP. We will go into some of these features in this video, but you can download a fully functional version that works for 30 days. It supports all the major plugin formats, is cross platform, and very reasonably priced. Note that only Reverberate 2 has the advanced DSP, not the other budget convolution plugins that Liquid Sonics sells. The early reflections are essential for giving an instrument a distinct sense of space. Most algorithmic reverb plugins cannot even control the early reflection size other than a simple delay. Algorithmic early reflections have an intrinsically artificial heavy character, which sounds similar to a type of relentless flam on every attack of every sound. The Hollywood IR collection has nine acoustically natural sounding early reflections. A Tycho drum demo. You can hear the early reflection artificial heaviness in the first two sequences that use the algorithmic reverb plugins, Eventide Ultra Reverb and Waves CLA drums followed by the natural sounding early reflections of the Hollywood Sound IR collection. It's important to note that the mixer settings did not change between the numerical sound Hollywood IR collection, the Eventide Ultra Reverb, and the Waves CLA drums. The reverb level may sound more prominent in the Hollywood Sound IR collection, but the mixer levels were identical in all three demos. The elevated reverb level is due to the high definition acoustic realism of these IRs when compared to the synthetic character of the two algorithmic reverb plugin demos.
the clean solo lead guitar. Variable space modulation was used to maximize the overall ambient richness while still maintaining clarity by adjusting the reverb hall size based on the note lengths. In this example, the shorter notes have a smaller space and the longer notes have a larger space. Funky Rhythm Guitar Demo Variable reverb brightness can be used to change the tone color of the ambience from dark to bright or vice versa. In this example, you will hear this on an electric rhythm guitar track. The automation curve in your DAW can smoothly control the reverb brightness in a song. This can complement an arrangement by gradually increasing intensity reverb brightness as the song progresses. And you can see this in the automation graph below. Alto sax demo. You can clearly hear the acoustic intimacy, transparency, and warmth of the Hollywood Sound IR collection early reflections in the following five alto sax phrases. A special thanks to Michael Cohen of Signature Sound Recording Studio for his alto sax track. <laughs> Hollywood Sound IR collection has nine different early reflections. Each individual early reflection gives your reverb a distinct character. You can significantly enhance the acoustic realism by assigning different early reflections to each instrument section in a MIDI orchestration production. In contemporary pop, R&B, or hip-hop productions, you can assign different size early reflections to achieve a 3D depth in the stereo field. To do this, assign smaller size early reflections for the foreground and larger ones for the middle to background of the stereo field. Whether it is orchestral or contemporary music, you can easily set this up in your DAW. Create nine auxiliary reverb channel strips with a different size early reflection for each one. For each audio track, use the bus send to one of these nine aux channels. All DAWs allow you to adjust the stereo width of the reverb. For orchestral music, adjust the width and the pan to match the orchestral position of each instrument. For contemporary music, the stereo width can be more flexibly adjusted because it is not as strongly linked to real-world acoustic spaces. Before loading reverberate banks, you must first specify where the Hollywood Sound IR collection resides. This enables each preset to know where to find the reverb impulses. On your hard drive, first you select the Browser tab. Second, you click on the Options button on the left. Third, once you click on the Options button, scroll down to the third line called Set Lost Files Recursive Search Locations. Fourth, move the mouse pointer to the right side menu and select One Empty. Then release the mouse click. The File Open menu is displayed. Five, locate the Hollywood Sound IR Collection folder on your hard drive. 6. Make sure to click on this folder listed above and then go inside it to see the following. 7. Move the mouse cursor over to the open and click on it. So now, when you load an FXB file, Reverberate knows where to find the IRs. 8. If you click again on the options, then scroll down to the Set Lost File Recursive Search Location, you now see that the Hollywood Sound IR Collection location on your hard drive is listed. The O5 Reverberate Banks folder contains two subfolders for each sampling rate. Within the 44K folder, you see five additional folders, each containing the bank files. The folders labeled 01 to 05 contain various types of reverb modulation. 
For example, the folder starting with the 01 label contains the banks that modulate smoothly from a dark to bright version of an IR. When you open this folder, you see the exact files. All the bank files have a .fxb extension. To load a bank file, you do the following. First, instantiate the plugin. Second, select the preset tab. Third, select the options button by clicking on it. Four, when you click on the options button, a pull down menu appears. You select the second one down, the current bank of presets. Five, next, move the cursor over the right side menu and select the load FXB bank of presets. It will change color to a blue strip. Six, click the mouse and the file window opens. Navigate to find this file. Seven, finally select the file, then click the open button on the bottom right. The following naming convention applies to all the bank files. The first file that we just loaded has short in its name, which means that the scoring stage hall size ranges from 0.7 to 1.5 seconds. The second file that contains the word long in the name means that the scoring stage hall sizes range from 2 to 5 seconds. After loading the Reverberate bank, you see the following presets. We see 48 slots, 46 with names. Each of the 46 file names are called presets. The presets contain all the DSP settings required for a Convolution plugin. The unique feature of Reverberate that Numerical Sound takes advantage of is that a preset can load up to two IRs. The loading of two IRs allows for modulation of a particular ambient character. In this bank, all the presets are going from dark to bright. To make it easier to understand, all 48 presets have a unique meaningful name. Nine early reflections of a particular hall size are listed from the shortest ER, 52 milliseconds, to the longest, 200 milliseconds. Note that the 150 millisecond has two variations, A and B, and the 200 millisecond has three variations, A, B, and C. These early reflection sizes are the same for all the hall sizes, as you can see the same ER values for 0 0.85, 1, 1 1.2, and 1.5 seconds. In each preset name, the early reflection length is listed followed by the scoring stage size. Think of the S in 0S7 as a decimal point, so it really means 0 0.7 seconds. 1S2 is 1.2 seconds. The last part of the preset name describes a type of modulation. The ER dark to bright is the early reflection that ranges from dark to bright. To access this modulation, we have to select the Mixer tab. Then go to the IR Balance Mix knob. This knob modulates from dark to bright in real time, with the 7 o'clock position all dark, the 12 o'clock position a mix or an in-between sound, at 5 o'clock a bright sound in reverb. You can hear this effect with the following violin example. You can modulate the dark to bright reverb in your DAW by using the automation parameter. You select the IR1 slash IR2 mix, which is the fourth parameter in the automation list. A unique new convolution-based acoustic enhancement feature added to all the bank presets is a subtle tone motion filter. All the IR presets have a post-EQ programmed to add a subtly constant changing tone that is never static sounding. This adds a deeper richness especially to sampled bass music. To clearly hear this, a single sample snare is played for three bars with a fixed reverb impulse. Then it is followed by the post-EQ moving filters. You only hear the 100% reverb, no original dry signal, so you can clearly hear the effect. This feature will add additional track depth and richness to any sound, but is especially powerful with any sample based track.
Now we will load a bank that can modulate from strong early reflections to tail only. The tail only sound is very similar to the sound of a plate reverb. The early reflection to tail also has the short and long versions, but also comes in three variations, bright, warm, and darker. This characterizes the level of the sound brightness as the reverb decays. Use this knob to adjust the ER balance. First you go into the O2 early reflections to tail modulation folder. Then you go down to the lowest one starting with 07, which are the studio spaces. Now in the following demo you hear a drum track. We'll go through all nine studio early reflections, then a smooth modulation to 100% tail. The first column of this bank file has all large studio spaces, the second column medium studio spaces, and the third one small studio spaces. In the next example, we will select 01 underscore tail underscore mod underscore 44k dot fxb. The type of presets in the tail bank. Modulating reverb tone from dark to bright, modulation variable space, and fixed space, which contains no modulation. <laughs> The folder named 05 Early Reflections to Tail Modulation Light Bass has some bass frequencies removed for a lighter, more cutting reverb sound. Works well for contemporary music or where strong reverb bass frequencies could muddy up the mix. A separate solo guitar and solo vocal examples were used to demo these presets. In this demo, a guitar passage is played by the late great musician Oscar Castro Neves, who unfortunately passed away in 2013. <laughs> Several different early reflections and scoring stage hall sizes are heard on a passage sung by Mishka of Mishka Music. Note that the first folder, 00 Early Reflections Dark, Warm, Bright, contains six FXP files that contain no modulation, just the early reflections, but they do include the post EQ moving filters. You can save your favorite banks for instant access. I'll show you how to do it. First, click on the Save Bank at the far right. Second, select a third line down called Favorites. Third, slide to the right and scroll to the second line from the bottom, called Set Entry. Fourth, slide to the right again and scroll up to the top, select FXB for one. Five, once saved, then select Save Banks Favorites again, and you will see up to 25 banks available for immediate access. By scrolling over one and clicking on the mouse, any one of these banks are loaded. This is much faster than going through the traditional file loading system. Hope this video demonstrates the power and the versatility of early reflections and convolution-based modulation tools. Best of luck applying these to your creative work.